So you may have to work on different Rust 2 projects and you don't want to necessarily mix those projects together. And to do that, well, one solution is very simple. You can create multiple Rust 2 workspaces. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step by step and how to safely switch between different workspaces. So I have already created a first ROS2 workspace, so quite classic. Okay, I have named it ROS2 underscore WS. Inside this, I have a source folder with the packages and everything. And then I have already compiled the workspace. Now, if I go to my, so let's do JEDIT and let's go to the bash RC. What do I have in my bash RC? I have three lines here specific to ROS2. So the first one is to source the ROS2 environment here. So the global ROS2 installation. Then I have something for the Colcon Arg complete arguments. Okay, not really important here. And then you can see I have source ROS2 workspace install setup.bash. So this line will make sure that I source this workspace here, this ROS2 workspace, so that of course I can use the functionalities that I have just developed in this workspace. All right, so that was a quick recap on how to basically set up one ROS2 workspace. Now let's close that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another workspace. So let's go back to the home directory. And let's say you have a robot named uh, Robot A and you want to create a workspace for this robot. So let's name it Robot A workspace like this. You can choose any name you want. Okay, so let's do MKDIR Robot A workspace. Okay, the name of the workspace doesn't need to be uh, ROS2 something. Okay, that's just a convention that we use for development, but you can have, of course, robot AWS. If I go to uh, robot AWS, I have nothing, so let's create a source folder. That's what we need for a workspace. That's the only thing basically we need. And then let's do colcon build. Okay, and you can see now I have build, install, and log. If I go to install, I have setup.bash. So now if I want to use this workspace, I will go to, so I will go to my bash RC and I will simply remove the last line. So actually I'm going to just comment this line and I'm going to do source robot AWS slash install slash setup.bash. So pretty simple. I still source the global ROS2 installation and Colcon are complete here. And then I source my new workspace instead of the previous one. Let's save this. Okay, and now you can see that. So if I open a new terminal, the bash RC will be executed. And now I can run stuff from the uh, robot A workspace. That's as simple as that. Now, very important note is that, so if I go back to the bash SC, make sure you have only one ROS2 workspace sourced at the same time. Okay, make sure you don't source all of your workspaces at the same time, unless that's something you want to do for some reasons. But here, make sure you have only one sourced. So if you have put that in your bash SC, the best thing to do when you are actually switching between workspaces is to, well, just close your terminals and then open new ones or open new sessions so you can make sure you don't mix between different ROS2 workspaces. And if you want to switch, so let's say now I'm in my uh, robot A workspace. If I want to switch to my other workspace, well, let's just go to my bash SC again. So bash SC and I will just comment this line to source the robot A workspace and uncomment this line to source the ROS2 workspace. So my first workspace, I'm going to save this, close, close, open, and my ROS2 workspace. So the first workspace is now sourced. And you can repeat that for any number of workspaces. You can have 20 workspaces and just make sure that when you open a terminal, you have just one workspace that is sourced at a time. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn ROS2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. 
See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.